Gloria. Mm hmm. He's a good pussy cat. Hmm. Meow. You want to say meow? <laughs> you know, Gloria, Gloria doesn't meow as easily when she's purring, you know, I'm sure like most cats anyway. Anyway, hello, hello ladies and germs. It's Elton McFall here. I'm in a bit of a slow motion because I just, well, because I just finished the painting and uh, also I, I didn't sleep really well last night and actually a couple of nights ago I didn't sleep I didn't sleep too well either, so I've been yeah I've been pretty tired the past few days. Luckily, uh, even though, though that's the case, and I've been really active, if not painting, uh, I've been of course active, uh, you know, going to car shows and you know this and that, filming this and that. Uh, but happy to say that uh, the pericarditis has not been an issue. I think for I don't know quite some time, I guess over a month or something. So I'm really happy about that, and I'm really happy to have just just finished this painting. As you can see here, I still have my paintbrushes in the water with the leftover acrylic paint here. And um, and very happy to have finished this painting because it's not, you know, this is like painting number, I think, nine in this series of 16 by 20 inch paintings uh, that I do for people, uh, for, uh, you know, pretty much all of your fans there, your subscribers and so forth. And uh, this Western Star belongs to a subscriber out of Saguenay. And uh, merci encore, Mikael, pour la personnalité pour sa job. Thanks again to Mikael out in the Saguenay region, which is very far north of here. And uh, I don't even know if I've been there or not, actually. But uh, he uh, texted me yesterday and mentioned, I thought, I told him, I said, what year is this truck, 2003? Oddly enough, the only thing I got right on that is that the, the motor is a 2003 uh, Cummins and it's got a, a, a glider kit on it, which I'm not even sure what the hell that means. I'm embarrassed to say, I guess I'm not a truck driver. And uh, But the truck is actually a 2018. So, you know, kudos again to Western Star, Peterbilt, or Packard, I should say, Peterbilt, Kenworth, and with the exception of Mac that make trucks, um, you know, still look old school. You can't really say that about pretty much any car today, right? And uh, Mac, I was thinking about Mac a few times or even yesterday and, you know, when it comes to truck spotting and uh, I think fran I, frankly, if Mac was uh, smart, they would go back and start making the R series again because that was their best and most popular heavy truck they ever made. There's nothing else that they ever made that comes comparison to that, except for, of course, the famous B61, which was the predecessor to the R series. I mean, they made the R series from like you know, 65 to like 2002 or three or something. And of course this model here, Western Star, I don't even know what it's called, frankly, uh, but you know, to me, it's just a conventional, uh, a truck with a design that pretty much dates back to, well, the, the hood anyway, and grill and all that dating back to, I think the seventies anyway. And, uh, yeah, I'm very happy the way this came out. Of course, typically, you know, you have to put three or four coats of paint for the effect that you want to have. Uh, you know, the look and all that. And I'm telling you, I'm starting to think this lens is finished. I think this camera is really going down because I don't know. It's like, I'm looking at this. It looks like it's having trouble focusing, but yeah, you can see there's a lot of detail. You got to paint on a, on a painting like this, you know, the air filter, the stacks, the mirrors, the visor, the horns, the lights, it's like all this stuff. And he, I could have even gone more, even as you can see with the trailer, but again, you know, for, well, let's just say it costs, costs a little bit more than 250 to do this. Uh, but that's of course, so I charged him initially uh, 250, but the gentleman paid a little bit more. So he obviously, uh, like so many of you who, uh, you know, have paid me for, for, to do this, uh, for your, your, your vintage vehicle. Well, you know, again, it's your, you're all guys uh who appreciate the the hard work and the idea of doing something like that you know and, and unfortunately not everybody's like that really uh so and thanks to nick and uh thanks to uh, uh louie and thanks to of course uh my good friends my great friend scott out west and andre and all you guys who who have uh, so far uh you know helped me make a living doing this full time because again as i mentioned youtube uh, revenue is, is down and uh, it's not getting better 
So it's great to be able to use uh, YouTube as a platform to help me make more bread, to make an income. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to, uh, to it's, I'm very proud to finally find a, pe a pe peace of mind in my life where I'm, you know, I'm doing what I love doing. And I uh, never thought I'd be able to do this actually, to, to pull this off, uh, to do paintings for people like pretty much like, you know, one a week, like nonstop, pretty much. And after this, I'll be painting uh, Nick's uh, Uncle uh, Uncle Frank's uh, 53 Chevy uh, Rat Rod pickup. This thing is really something. I saw it on Friday. Woo, daddy. That's a mean looking rig. And I uh, built it out of a shit box out of Ottawa. And uh, so that'll take, yeah, it'll take a week. And uh, and after that, I might, I might probably be doing my friend Antoine's Pacer. So that should also be very interesting. Oh boy, I'm so tired. I'm actually getting tired of holding the camera here. <laughs> Let me try something else here. Ugh. Anyway, so uh, that being said, um, get in touch with me if you want to have something serious like this done. It'll be my most pleasure. Uh, again, it doesn't matter if it's a vintage car, truck, a bus, a Lamborghini, a plane, hell, a helicopter, a ship. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, ships to me goes alongside with like, for example, I keep showing this bus that I did uh, uh, finished. Uh, what was it this year, or last year? And the reason why I do that is because, well, for one thing, this thing is huge. This is a well, huge. It's a big painting. It's not sixteen by twenty. I don't remember what the size is, but anyway, it's eight hundred bucks because it's the amount of work on it is crazy. The amount of detail that I had to to uh, to do on this thing. You know, look if you look close, you see what I mean. I mean, the Santreda, that's like, you know, piece of cake compared to everything else. And that's, of course, the French-Canadian version of the United Way, by the way. Yeah, it's still available. Come and pick it up if you can. If not, I'll ship it to you. Uh, how much is it going to be for shipping? Uh, probably 100 bucks. But shipping this size, 16 by 20, it's not expensive. It doesn't matter if you're... Uh, you know, here are the states. It's uh, my friend Dave, of course. There's somebody else. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention a good friend Dave. I never met like Andre. My friend Dave's from Cape Cod. Uh, it uh, costs uh, just 30 bucks to send that to the states uh, when I did his Volkswagen pickup. And of course, Gloria's looking at me, going, "What is? Who is he talking to? Hey, Gloria." Meow. 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 No, she doesn't. What do you want? What? Hey, meow. Meow? She don't want to meow. Anyway. And of course I'm taking my time filming this because I'm trying to think of what I might have not mentioned, you know, what I might have missed. Pretty cool, eh? I'm very happy with it. Simple background, two coats of paint, and I added like these, you know, Swiss Alp Rockies looking mountains, you know. I don't know, maybe the mountains probably, I'm sure they look like that too out in the Saguenay in the winter, so whatever. You know, and uh, of course, you know, if you want something bigger, well, obviously it costs more, the canvas costs more, it takes more paint, takes more work, but uh, you get the gist of it. I'm very flexible, but, uh, you know, again, I'm a perfectionist, so uh, you don't, you're not going to get any crap. It's not garbage you're going to get here, eh? So thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, again, you want to get in touch with me, I think my email is down there somewhere. Uh, if you want to, in case, give me a ring, it's 514-598-1773. And, uh, yeah, but again, I, there's, there's a few things I have in mind I would love to paint. If you have a vintage Ferrari, like the one I saw in Chambly, for example, it was, there was a 95 F55, there was an, a 79 308, I think it was, GTS, nice couple who had it. You know, I'd love to do something like that. I'd love to do a, a classic exotic car, Jaguar, a, you know, E-Type, whatever. That'd be a lot of fun, but again, uh, it's a van. If you got a vintage van, a motorhome, whatever, I love it. Anything that moves, I'll paint. Oh, motorcycles, that's another one I'd love to do. I know um, a customer of mine came by to buy, he bought a, 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 he came for the second time, repeat customer, he bought a whole bunch of vintage motorcycle ads I have. You know, you got, and, and there was one I saw yesterday, like, woo, man, I had to do a quick video of it. It was a, uh, four-cylinder engine there mounted sideways with the pipes coming oh, beautiful machine and I thought I looked at that said yeah that's something I would paint so uh, 
noodle that. Uh, also, against, oh, that's what I forgot to mention. It doesn't have to be a vehicle you have. It could be a vehicle you had. It could be a dream car. Uh, it could be a gift for somebody. This is a very unique gift you want to make for somebody that, uh, you know, a car that they have or had or an uncle or your father or whatever. Uh, anything goes. But again, it's minimum $200 and it's payment up front. That's how I work. So, um, yeah. And then knowing that you're uh, dealing with a professional here at 46 years of age, I've been drawing and painting a pretty long time. And uh, on that note, we'll finish with the Christine I, I usually show here because I uh, still can't believe nobody ever bought it. Um, sometimes I think maybe it's because I'm in Quebec and people don't appreciate art enough, or it's because we're more taxed here than anywhere else in, the, in North America, unfortunately. So. And this beautiful painting here with this amazing texture, I didn't paint that, I bought this at a second-hand store. Make me an offer on it, come and get it. I'm in the Hochelaga sector of Montreal, you can Google my address, 1616 Cuvillier. So if you're coming up here and you're looking for something unique, um, you know, let me know. This, of course, I painted this too. You know, that commuter train. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, be good, stay well, and uh, let's all hope for a better next year.